hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen. I guess if you say so, I have to pack my things and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road. I really believe that divorce doesn't have to be ugly. I mean, we obviously loved each other at one point, and I don't see why we can't remain friends. It would be hard not to be friends with a terrific girl like you. I'll call you later. Okay. Hey, Ma. What you doing? Saying goodbye to my lawyer. <laughs> Can't you at least have milk with that? It's mucus for me. Hey, Ryan. I have something for you. Turn around. You like that? That's how it feels when someone leaves the toilet seat up and you fall in. <laughs> oh, now, come on. Kids, you know the rules. Shut up until you go to sleep. <laughs> oh, that must be your father. Right on time. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Did the sprinklers go off? <laughs> I'm sorry, but don't worry, it's just water. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, by the way, I picked up your cleaning. <laughs> but don't worry, it's just water and some mud, because I was surprised by the sprinklers I dropped it in a puddle. <laughs> After I took the cellophane off. Hey, Dad. Where you been? Your mom kicked me out two weeks ago. No kidding. Oh, well. See ya. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. Uh, you knew I was gone, didn't you? <laughs> Daddy, I'm so self-absorbed, I didn't even know you were here now. <laughs> now, you're looking kind of good. Why didn't you ever lose weight to look good for me? Just didn't seem worth the effort. <laughs> I think we should keep working on the details of the divorce. Hi, guys. Don't worry, it's just ex-Daddy. You know, I do think it was a good idea you had that neither one of us should get a lawyer. Oh, getting involved with lawyers, that's just not us. Now, let's address the specific provisions of the marital settlement agreement relating to section 44, paragraph G, of the California Marital Community Property Code. God, if I didn't know any better, I'd think you were sleeping with a lawyer. <laughs> Jack, he was an encyclopedia salesman. <laughs> Who was? <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing about? Oh, God, I don't know. We just have fun together. <laughs> now, just sign the divorce agreement. If it turns out you gave me too much, you know I'll give it back to you. Well, one thing about you, I trust you totally. How come your dental bills are mixed in with the kids? because I was trying to cheat you. <laughs> no, I get that one. Let me figure a couple of things. Let's see. I make $40,000 a year. So you figure mortgage, taxes, the kids, you. <laughs> that leaves me with um, $8,000 a year? After rent, that's like 40 bucks a week. That's five bucks a day. There are guys swimming across the Rio Grande to get away from five bucks a day. I need a drink. Jack, you know that's not the answer. Jenny, do you know where my purple pills are? No, Ma. Oh, well, red and blue, that makes purple. <laughs> you.
I forgot to tell you. Mom moved in to help out with the kids and keep me from getting too bitter. You unworthy prostate of a man, I spit on you. The church spits on you. The Lord spits on you. Hi, Mrs. Slattery. It's Mom. That's another thing I've always hated about you. You never called me Mom. I'd like to tear you limb from limb. Okay, baby, let's go. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Mama. Maybe you better lie down for 20 minutes and hallucinate while you listen to the big bands. <laughs> this ain't over, punk. <laughs> You just can't be nice to her, can you? <laughs> now, you know she has five doctors and a team of pharmacists working around the clock. <laughs> and still, she won't die. <laughs> well, it's certainly no fun trying to cheat you out of money if you're going to be in a mood like this. We'll talk about the divorce tomorrow. Now, in the meantime, I packed up a few of your things. Your pillow, your blue quilt, which forced me to have a blue bedroom, which prevented me from enjoying even one moment in my own home. <laughs> A fork, a knife, and your orange juice glass. I don't want anybody saying I wasn't fair. I love you. Bye. Oh, uh, that was habit. Bye. Hey, wait a second. What about my jacket? What jacket? Bye. My leather jacket I've had ever since I was 17. Until that night you got cold and I lent it to you. Lent it, which you then put on your side of the closet and I was never allowed to wear again. If I took something of yours, I'd give it back. What about my virginity? <laughs> Check with somebody else, baby. Daddy! Oh, hey, Ross! Do you really hate me like Grim says you do? <laughs> ah, Ross, Grandma just likes to talk. We both know that she's just a pill-popping, whacked-out old wheeze bag, and <laughs> she doesn't mean any real harm. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to see you tonight. I want you kids to come over and see my new place. Cool. Daddy, I want you at this so you're not lonely. Mr. Floppy? You want me to have Mr. Floppy? Oh, gee. We had some fine times together, you and me and Mr. Floppy. You know, he's going to help me sell some cars. Yes, the bunny's going to turn the odometers back. No, no. <laughs> now, that would be illegal. We got gremlins coming in there at night to do that. I want to see the gremlins, Daddy. Well, son, only Grandma can see the gremlins. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. You should give him a tumble. Sex is cool. All the kids are doing it. Yeah. Well, not me. I'm not caving into peer pressure. I choose to save my virginity for some wrinkled old wheeze bag with a ton of money and a month to live. <laughs> I'm not giving it away. There's going to be a major entry fee. <laughs> then why bother dressing like that? Because <laughs> I love the power. <laughs> I can't believe this. No one wants to go out with me. Is every girl in the school a lesbian? <laughs> Katie? <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> Great. Producing a nation of gym teachers. It's me. Hello. Hi. Okay. Sure. Okay. Bye. That was mom. She's dropping us off at dad's new place tonight. Your dad's place? Your parents broke up? Yeah. Hey, everybody. The Malloys are breaking up. All children of divorced parents. Come on over and welcome two new members. <laughs> that can happen to any kid. Now your parents have to compete for your love and they don't know how to do that, so that means buying you things. Or you get two sets of presents for Christmas and birthdays and things. Maybe even four if they each get a boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> and the best part for you is when you fail, it's not because you're stupid. You're the product of a broken home. <laughs> Ryan Malloy. Someone stole a midterm exam off my desk. I know it was you. I'm sorry. I'm the product of a broken home. Oh, then it's okay.
nice, huh? And quiet, too. Because I heard the immigration department did a sweep yesterday. <laughs> so, you're going to be my company here, huh? Well, that is great. Hey, I ever tell you I used to box golden gloves? Oh, yeah. Here, put them up. Put them up. Watch it. Watch the left. Left. <laughs> you didn't watch the left. Oh, man. Just think. This is just the middle of my life. The end should be really good. Jack, you're a loser. Huh? I said a loser. What part of that didn't you understand? <laughs> so you're talking, Mr. Floppy. Gee, it didn't take me long to lose my mind, not did it? You didn't just say something, right? <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't even sit near me! I like my space! <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just not gonna talk to you. I think that might be the best way to handle this. After all, I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna sit here and talk to a bunny. <laughs> So why do you think I'm a loser? Mr. Floppy? <laughs> Thank God. For a minute, I thought I really was going nuts. I thought I told you not to touch me. I thought you stopped talking. I was screwing with you. Well, don't. I'm very jumpy. All right, I think I'm starting to understand this. You're kind of my, uh, my alter ego. Don't get too deep with this. I'm just a talking bunny. <laughs> Hi, guys. Great to see you. What time you want the kids home? You know, you could bring them home a little late tonight. But, Mom, you said we were just coming for a second. Everybody suffers in a divorce. <laughs> Enjoy the kids. <laughs> Well, Dad, we're here for the night. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Because I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Well, you won't be for long. It's like a wonderland here. <laughs> Mr. Floppy! I missed you! Ah, uh, Ross, maybe we should take a little easy with Mr. Floppy there. He loves it. Listen, Ross, remember when you used to tell me how Mr. Floppy used to talk to you? Well, uh... He really did talk to you, didn't he? Uh, no, Dad. I made that up. He's just a stupid bunny. Look. Maybe we better put Mr. Floppy away for a minute. His uh, head's kind of coming off. You okay? I don't need your stinking sympathy. So, how's everybody doing? I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored, too. I've been bored for 20 years, and nobody seems to care. <laughs> But I'm the dad. How did I become the dad? I used to be the kid. Matter of fact, people used to call me the kid. Yeah, they called me the kid right up until you were born. <laughs> now I'm middle-aged. I sell used cars and you're born. Well, who cares about you? I'm dying here. I am dying. Sit <laughs> down. Come on. Breathe. In and out, in and out. Okay, okay, I'm better now. Good. Dad, I'm the product of a broken home, and I want a Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> and I want to transfer to a private school in France. It's only $25,000. So is a Jeep Cherokee. I want to go to Disneyland. That's $25,000, too. <laughs> Daddy, 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 I want to go okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. You want to go to France. You want a car. I want Disneyland. Who cares? You know what I want? I want to know how I'm going to get to work tomorrow. Your mother's father, my supervisor, for some unknown reason, has decided to take away my company car. So now I'm trying to scrape together the down payment on a moped. Or maybe a lark. 
You know, one of those cool motorized chairs that old people go shopping in. Oh, sure. So you get what you want. <laughs> Don't be so unfeeling. Our daddy is hurting. He needs our support right now. Hello? Oh, hi, Amber. Oh, I'm at my dad's place. Well, you wouldn't want to sit on the toilet here. <laughs> I'm gonna play with Mr. Floppy. Would now be a bad time to ask about my Cherokee again? Let's just put it this way. You will get your Jeep Cherokee before your sister goes to France. All right. She's an idiot. She really believes you're gonna send her. Yeah, yeah. She sure is stupid. <laughs> Listen. Did you find out where your mom keeps my old leather jacket? While she's out tonight, I'd kind of like to get it back. Well, gee, I don't know, Dad. I mean, if I told you that, it'd kind of be like I was taking sides. Oh. Well, excuse me, Mr. Switzerland. <laughs> Mr. Neutral. <laughs> Mr. Sure, Mr. Nazi, we'll protect your money. Fine. You go put holes in your cheese while the world burns, you sissy. You fruitcake. <laughs> you Haiti boy. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> That's my boy. <sighs> <laughs> you know, I love my jacket. Still fits, too. God, you're one deluded schizophrenic. You want some advice? Ron! Change your name. Move to the Ozarks. Sell you sheep. Have a daughter and marry her. The important part is, run! I never ran from anything in my life. Except for cops and really big guys. But never from responsibility. Except that girl that thought she was pregnant. I wonder what ever happened to her. Anyway, I'm not running now. I'm gonna stay here and take care of my wife and kids. Blah, 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 blah. Save your cheap sentiment for full house. <laughs> your wife's a shrew, and if you think your kids love you, they don't. Believe me, I was there. <laughs> you know, there's a nice big can down by the bus stop. It says, Toys for Honduras. How'd you like to wake up there? Do it if you got the guts. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this divorce was my fault. I can't even get along with a stuffed bunny. <laughs> Who is it? Me! Watch me give her a hard time. Who is me? Drop dead. I'm leaving. Okay, okay, I'm opening. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Oh, this place is charming. The condemned notice outside doesn't begin to describe the Beirut-like squalor, which is your new home. Ah, eh, what does it matter? You're going to be alone your whole life. What did you do, get your period and rush right over? <laughs> it's not due for two days, and we both know I don't get PMS. You do know that, don't you? Besides, it has nothing to do with that. It's just that every month you just happen to do something real annoying right before my period. Now, you see, you're doing it again. You're breathing in and out, in and out. Just... Do you know what I really hate about you? That I can't sleep without you. Oh, so you miss me, huh? Get real. I just had a bad date. He took me out to eat. The check came. He touched my thigh and said, you had the Big Mac value meal. Give me three bucks. We'll call it even. <laughs> then we went back to his place where he wept because his mother used to beat him when he was five. Said he needed a hug. I hugged him. And he started crying. Hug me. Spank me. Hug me. Spank me. <laughs> God, he was gross. I spanked him and got the hell out of there. <laughs> well, as wretched as you are, at least you never cried. That's because you never spanked me. I'd be happy to beat the hell out of you right now. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Don't touch me. <laughs> well, I guess this is kind of good for me. Because if all guys are like that guy, I should do pretty good out there. Oh, please. Don't begin to compare yourself to him. 
This man was a mailman with his own car. <laughs> what happened to us? We went on vacation to Hawaii, their first one without the kids. We got to talk to each other and realized that every single thing you do or think or say makes me sick. Mm. <coughs> Didn't you ever like anything about me? Yeah, your legs. That's it? Nothing else? Nothing about my essence? Everything that makes me me? No, just your legs. <laughs> Maybe you're tushy. You're a pig. But every once in a while, you need a good pig. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I want me to make you suffer. Oh, Daddy, make me cry. <laughs> Okay. Stick that in your chest, then ask me. <laughs> I hope it doesn't become a habit. People pinning notes to me. Get a bulletin board, for God's sake. <laughs> and an airwick. And a picture on the wall. Something tropical. All right, all right, I'll take care of it. Great, now I'm gonna be bunny whipped. <laughs> Jack, it was cold, so I took your jacket. And two bucks for gas. Just like you used to squeeze out of me when we were dating. <laughs> ah, well. Didn't fit me anymore, anyhow. God, you're a loser. She got the house, the car, your money, and your manhood. Why are you smiling? Because she got the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Ever after, your show is a cheap ripoff of Taming of the Shrew. Bill W., Chicago's New Jersey. Bill, you're an idiot. We bear no resemblance to Shakespeare. We are in English. His plays are filled with sexual innuendo and cod pieces. We have no cod pieces. Send your retarded letter to PBS, you fool. Hey, get to work! <laughs>